Welcome back to another domain guide. This time, we'll be tackling Euro domains. Like in the previous video, I'm imposing the same restrictions of no 5-star weapons and characters except for the Traveler. We'll start things off with the Hidden Palace of Lianjian Formula. This domain has Electro enemies, so I wouldn't recommend bringing any Electro characters and the Leyline Disorder makes it harder to use Burst supports. That being said, it's hard not to bring any of my favorite Burst supports, so I'm just gonna ignore that and instead bring characters that can generate a lot of particles like Sucrose, Xingqiu, Ningguang, and Diona among others. Bennett is also great here since he can cleanse the Electro applied by the domain but it is very possible to do this domain quickly even without a cleanser. Now, the domain starts with a Season Mage and two Electro Slimes. Try to stagger the Season Mage immediately to prevent her from summoning Seasons. Focus your attacks on the Season Mage because the Slimes will follow you around so you don't have to chase after them. After that wave, more Slimes will appear and after that, another Season Mage. As soon as the Season Mage appears, shift your focus into her immediately. Chances are, the slimes will get caught in the crossfire while they try to reach you, saving you quite a bit of time. As long as you remember not to bring Electro characters and keep focusing on the Electro Season Mage, your team comp shouldn't matter as much. You could bring Pyro and Cryo characters like the domain suggests, or you could bring something as random as Double Animal Comp with Ningguang and Xingqiu for damage. One thing you need to remember though if you decide to bring Pyro characters, you're bound to cause overload and Overload yeets the enemies away from you, so you're gonna wanna bring someone like Sucrose to keep them in one place. Up next, we have Taishan Mansion. This domain isn't so bad considering there are no slimes, which means you're free to use any character you'd like. But be wary of the Fatui Agent's 50% Pyro Resistance. The Leyline Disorder is also nothing to worry about if you can finish the domain quickly. Now, in this domain, I like to bring my strongest single target characters. Beto is especially useful here since her burst can jump between two targets, making it very easy to shred their health bars. There's not a lot to be said about this domain. One tip though if you're struggling to finish this quickly, try to beat the Fatui agent with the Pyro Aura immediately. This will prevent the Pyro Bombs from appearing later on. Another way to quickly finish this domain is by bringing two characters with a nuking ability. Some of your 4-star character options are Xin Yan, Ning Wang, Chong Yun, Kujo Sara, Bennett, and Xingqiu. It can be faster to farm this way if you have enough damage, reliable crit rate, and if you can feel their energy after each run. Next, we have Domain of Guyun where you can farm Arcade Petra and Retracing Bolite Artifacts. Melt and Vaporize will cause damage to your active character here, so try not to bring any Pyro characters if you don't have a healer built properly. One very important character to bring here is an Archer. Right at the start of the domain, switch to your Archer and aim at this Mora symbol. Soon after, a Ruin Hunter will spawn and immediately fly up with its core exposed. Hitting this core will stun it and ground it for a significant amount of time. Don't worry too much about the Hillichers that spawn with it as they will be chasing after you so you can just deal with them as they come. After that, lure the Cryo Abyss Mages that spawn next just like in the previous guide and take them down together. I used Bennett just then to deal with the Cryo Abyss Mage shields but you can also bring Electro or even Geo, provided your damage leaders are strong enough. Moving on, we have the Hidden Palace of Zhou Formula, where you can farm Lava Walker and Crimson Witch of Flames artifacts. First off, you'll want at least one Hydro unit in your team to deal with the Pyro Abyssmaid shields later on. Also, bring a Shielder or a Healer if you decide to bring an Electro character as well, so you can deal with the Leyline Disorder that punishes you for using Overload. With that in mind, I've decided to bring Fischl and Xingqiu and also a Pyro character like Bennett for a little trick that I managed to find out about. Once the domain starts, go southeast around this pot and hit the slime with Pyro when it spawns, causing it to change states, allowing you to shred its health via Vaporize using Xingqiu's skill. If Sacrificial Sword triggers, you can also hit the other slime with it. From here, Axe Mitachurus will spawn and they can sometimes be pretty annoying to lure since they can attack from range. Try to advance to the middle right of the domain where one of the Abyss Mages will spawn. Once it does, keep close to it so Xingqiu's skill can help break down its shield. Keep looking towards the same direction while doing so, so you can predict where the last Abyss Mage will teleport to. When it does teleport to you, try to beat it as soon as possible to prevent Pyro Bombs from spawning, making it less likely to have any character deaths. 
Lastly, we have Clear Pool and Mountain Cavern Domain where you can farm Bloodstained Chivalry and Noblesse Oblige Artifacts. This is one of the easiest domains out there if you know the trick. There are two things you can do here. The easiest one is to simply bring Sucrose. As soon as you press start, run towards one of the corners of the domain. This will lure the Abyss Mages to one spot, making it easy to deal with all their shields in one go when Sucrose's burst gets infused with an element. I also threw Sayu in there for the extra animal particles so I can comfortably fill Sucrose's burst. You also want an Electro Cactor in there to help you deal with the shield whose element got infused into Sucrose's burst. With these two, the rest of your party can be whatever you'd like. Another way to do this is to bring any combination of Pyro, Cryo, Hydro, or Electro into the domain. This guarantees that you'll at least have an easier time dealing with two of the shields after luring them to the corner. Contrary to the Leyland Disorder of the domain that increases your Geo damage, Geo isn't very helpful here unless you're severely lacking in damage. That is it for Liyue Domains. Next week, we'll tackle Inazuma. Subscribe for more.